So with all this talk about parameters, what, what are parameters really? Well, let's bounce back over to math world and take a look. Quite simply, the term parameter refers to any variable that can be varied or changed. Parameters act as the independent properties that you'd actually like to relate when uh, defining uh, an equation. But to actually relate them, you need some type of infrastructure and you, you need something that has the capacity to express that explicit relationship that you want to state. And to do so, you need something called an equation, or more specifically, a parametric equation. Well, now that we have determined um, what the term parametric means within the context of mathematics, how does this term gain relevancy for us, for designers? Well, for starters, let's first coalesce around a working definition for the term design, which I must say is not a very easy task to accomplish. However, for the sake of a more robust understanding of how these two terms may relate, let's go ahead and just give it a shot. How about something like design is the activity of translating an idea into actions or a framework through which to act, something like a blueprint, a document, a drawing, a model, etc. And by now we've already established that the basic premise behind the term parametric is to express a set of quantities explicitly in terms of parameters. So in bringing those two words or two terms together, parametric and design, we could say that parametric design is to translate an idea through parameters into actions. And not only actions, but explicit actions. So parametric design is to translate an idea through parameters into explicit actions. But what are the parameters that you are defining when we are speaking about design and not math? Well, quite simply, parameters are the meaningful properties of a design problem. These properties might relate to budget, program, environment, manufacturing constraints, any or all of the above, you use parameters to add definition and boundaries to the overall scope to the development of a design. And most importantly, you use parameters to help you decide which actions to perform and to what extent while you are designing. So how is this different from the way you already work? Well, in a more standard design approach, the mechanism that links, let's say, a parameter-like budget right, to the final design outcome or form is normally only ever understood to be implied. There isn't any kind of formal infrastructure in place that really limits what the form looks like or what the degree to which um, a particular shape takes form uh, with regards to then something like budget. But in a parametric design approach, you're not only defining the parameters of a particular design, like manufacturing constraints or budget, for instance, but you're relating them through some function or underlying framework. So it's not just that you're defining parameters or that you're implying that the form would be somehow tied to how much money there is to spend or, or what extent uh, the budget uh, takes on but rather that the properties of your design are explicitly related and that the relationships are maintained over time. So then how do you actually implement these principles of, of parametric design in your own creative work? Well, let's say that you have a concept you're working on, something like this. So the origins of this concept are tied to our earlier discussion regarding the circle and the sine wave. Specifically, you're interested in bringing these two curves together um, to explore possible massing studies for, let's say, a, a tower, for instance.